So I thought I'd put this together as a quick starter on fusion composition and shapes. So I've just started here with a composition on the timeline. I'll we'll nip over here to fusion. The first thing we'll do is add a background so we can see what we're working with. So that, connect the two up. Well, the first thing we want to look at is some shapes. So let's pick the star. Let's add that. Now these stars, or these shapes, act the same way as the 3D text mentioned in another video. They exist separately from down here in the background and the media out, which we'll come to shortly. So in the star, what we're looking for here is maybe a seven point star. And what we want to do is we now want to bring that into our background. So let's get the render. Here we need a shape renderer. Let's add that. So here we go. Now we connect the star to the shape renderer. So our star, change the number of points. Play with the depth. Let's bring border width up or flip to solid. You can change how it will write on. So let's change the length. Again, that runs from zero to one, depending on the length of the clip. We'll either move quite quickly or slowly. And there's some offsets, etc. The other nice thing here is that if we want to bring in a grid to make more than one star, we can do so. So let's bring in our grid. There we go, let's connect the grid up. Now we have our grid. Let's bring in our merge, our shape merge. There we go. Now we have our same the same style coming into a grid. Shape merge, the render, and the output. So with the grid, make three, four, five, all the way up to ten. Gets a bit cluttered. You might be thinking, well actually that doesn't read that well because it's quite big. So what I'll do here is we will add our Shape transform. There we go. So what I can do here, bring down the size, move it around, back in the grid, space them out, and then by using some keyframe animation, we can change speed in which these appear, sizes, etc. So you might be thinking, well actually now I want more than one star. So here what we're going to do is we're going to add in a shape duplicate. So again, let's add a duplicate. And hit that back up. And I now want to have a couple of other stars. Set it, move it around, change the sizes, change the axis mode, make them rotate differently. So as you can see, if you were to have to create one star and then make, okay, this bit of a mess, it would be quite difficult but there we go and then by connecting up and then by connecting up the render to the merge we get our media out very quick whistle stop tour of creating a shape within fusion and i hope you found it quite useful something you can start on and thank you for watching